is our town, Pensalkin Township, founded by the broad Delaware River and located in the heart of the Delaware Valley, USA. Our town has had an enviable growth since the days of the first English settlers in 1633. Today, the 10.2 square miles of what officially became Pensalkin Township in 1892 is divided by main highways, some of which are the most heavily traveled in the country. Businesses of all types line these main arteries, the large cities of the east. Westfield Avenue, with its modern stores, is fast becoming one of the best shopping centers in South Jersey. The new Pentown building is typical of the development of this area. Heavily traveled Browning Road Circle with commercially lined frontage is an important hub of Pensalkin Township. These homes on Mansion Boulevard are representative of the fine homes built in our town. Not always the most expensive homes, but always the type of which we can be proud. Industry at its best, the Ford Motor Company's parts plant on Route 130. This tremendous plant, in addition to meeting local demands, exports to far-flung territories all over the world. Rice and Holman Ford Agency is the largest distributorship on the entire East Board. Yes, Pensalkin even has its farm along the riverfront, such as Keycapper Box Corporation and Hess Fuel Oil. Pensalkin has its historical side, too. Close to the river is the Morgan House, oldest in Camden County, built in 1749. And this Dover farmhouse, built in 1729 by Samuel Burrow. The Lawrence House, built a few years later in 1744, is even today a lovely residence in East Pensalkin. Spacious and expensive homes, as well as moderately priced modern homes, are scattered in every sector throughout the township. Pensalkin's swimming pool, the finest in the area, is a recreational paradise for young and old alike. It's 275 feet long and 75 feet wide. It was supplemented last year with this $12,000 wading pool for the toddlers. Diving competition and races sponsored by the Parks and Playgrounds Commission helped to mold the youth of our community into better citizens. Russell Ward's Spring Lake Club is also located in Pensalkin. Here is a swimmer's dream, a seashore at home, right in your own backyard. Picnicking and amusements make this a worthwhile place to visit. And if it's golf you like, that's available too. Iron Rock Golf Club on Haddonfield Road offers one of the finest courses in this area. Tennis courts and a sponsored organization are available for enthusiasts of this sport. 24 bowling alleys with automatic pin setters are housed in this building. And for the little kitties, the Merchandise Mart offers Ferris wheels, merry-go-rounds, and other amusements that appeal to the youngsters.
Parks and Playgrounds Commission, cognizant of the importance of organized recreation, have provided over 30 recreational areas, including 14 ball fields, something unheard of in any town in South Jersey. This new regulation Bon Air Field is used by the newly formed Delaware Valley League for boys up to 18 years old. Yes, it's play ball. And through the splendid efforts of Little Leagues Incorporated, over 1,500 boys in the township did exactly that. The capital development, Babe Ruth Field, was a scene of many exciting games, and the all-stars of this league performed very credibly in post-season tournament play. Giffen's Field is located in the Collins Track section. Meadowbrook Park, with a hardtop basketball court, new tennis courts, swings and slides, and a ball field, is one of the finest areas in the township. This new softball field in East Penn Saucon is for the older players. The hardtop basketball court, shown here, one of five built this year, is located in East Pensalkin Park, a park well worth visiting. Two regulation size little league fields, complete in every detail, are located at the Pensalkin Improvement Center. And incidentally, the little league boys did an excellent job in postseason play. Here we have swings for the little kitties at Solander's Park. And a baseball field and hardtop basketball court also enjoyed by the youngsters of that area. This is the playground at 38th and Chestnut Streets. And two new tennis courts are under construction at Browning Road and Chestnut Street playground. Lena D. Skelly Park in the Homestead section is enjoyed by youngsters of that area. A new playground has been established alongside the Clifford Baldwin School in Sharon Terrace. This Henry Carson School, along with the Baldwin School, and Meadowbrook's Benjamin Franklin School, shown here, were all built in 1955 at a cost of $800,000 and without any increase in our tax rates. Damon Heights School, built in 1911. Collins Track School, the second oldest in the township, built in 1905. And Pensauken Number no. 5 School, built in 1911, are all sister schools and well maintained. This is Longfellow School, built in 1927, and it has complete gym facilities. And the Roosevelt School, an identical school, built the same year. The Booker T. Washington School in Morrisville is well maintained. And here's the oldest school in the township, the Homestead School, built in 1900. School, built in 1924, is in excellent condition and serves the educational needs of that section. Greenville, built one year later, is a familiar site in that area. And here is the Pensauken Junior High School, built in 1925, one from which many of our residents have graduated. This may not look like much at the moment, but it is part of a 100-acre tract of fine land that will be used for the construction of Pensalkin's $3,525,000 high school. Pensalkin has its private schools, too. The Martin Luther Christian Day School is one of the finest. Many residents are not aware of the Bishop Eustis High School, located on the site of the old Cooper River Golf Club in Pensauken. 
church, St. Cecilia's Parochial School, with the church in the background, is a familiar sight. The Temple Lutheran Church is one of 22 churches representing many denominations in our town. This is the Pensalkin Highway Department garage, which houses most of the township equipment. 55 employees and 22 trucks plus miscellaneous equipment comprise the entire department of public works. Impressive array of equipment includes 22 trucks, two bulldozers, one road grader, one tractor grass cutter, one leaf loader, two street sweepers, one branch chip chipper, and other equipment. Pensalkin residents enjoy three garbage and trash collections each week, plus one collection for non-combustible materials in each area throughout the township. This is something unheard of elsewhere in the entire state of New Jersey. This is quite a contrast to 10 years ago when the Department of Public Works consisted of 17 men and seven trucks. All of the things we are getting today for our tax dollar, we are enjoying at no increase in tax rate. In fact, our tax rate today is 20% less than it was 10 years ago, even in face of rising costs during this period. A remarkable reflection of the good government we have in Pensalkin. Highway Department performs many services with this impressive array of equipment. With excellent supervision, the department operates at peak efficiency. Twelve trucks currently required for trash collections are of this closed type. Four more will eventually be added, thus eliminating any possibility of papers blowing from open trucks. Even though it is not the township's responsibility, county roads in Pensalkin are kept in clean condition by the highway department. Road patching is regularly scheduled. And street marking is a part of the everyday activity. Curb benches have been provided for residents' convenience. The Board of Health has added mosquito control as a new service to local taxpayers this year. All parts of the town are on a regular street sweeping schedule. This $200,000 Pensalkin incinerator plant does an efficient job of disposing of refuse. Township trucks deposit this material here, where it is scientifically consumed in huge furnaces. The plant is kept immaculately clean at all times. Part of the Parks and Playgrounds activity includes shade tree care of all township trees. The crew consists of eight men and two trucks. A $1,500,000 sewer plant completed last year will serve the needs of the township for many years, even with the influx of heavy industry. Room is available for future expansion. 14 pumping stations about the town pump sewage to the main plant. The Merchantville Pensalkin Water Commission's new one million gallon water tower completed early this year 
and this aerator plant on Park Avenue are all part of a water system with 129 miles of mains and one which pumped 379 million gallons of water last year. This is a new well located at Solander's Park. over 200 active volunteer firemen in Pensalkin who unselfishly stand ready to protect life and property. Whether it is a routine fire, as in this case in East Pensalkin, or a major one, these gallant men are on the job. The North Merchantville Firehouse is one of six in our town. Throughout the township, there is a total of 12 pumpers, one 55-foot aerial truck, four emergency trucks, one of which is shown here at the East Pensalkin Firehouse, two ambulances, two booster wagons, and one rescue boat, which is located here at the Delaview Firehouse. No other town in the area has so much equipment. This is the Highland Fire Company, located on Marlton Pike, and the Bloomfield Fire Company, which also houses the Civilian Defense Emergency Truck, which stands ready in the event of any local disaster. Pensalkin can indeed be proud of its splendid civilian defense organization. First Aid Squad, which acquired a new ambulance this year, does a splendid job of handling emergency calls. Our police department consists of 35 men and seven radio-controlled police cars. In addition, the police are assisted by a fine auxiliary police force, which helps to make everyone's job just a little easier. These well-trained alert officers are constantly on the go, and the ever-watchful eye of the law is on Pensalkin. Pensalkin's dog catcher is on the job, too. a boy, Walt. Go get him. won't be long before the new municipal building becomes a reality. The building, to be located on Route 130 and Merchantville Avenue, adjacent to the junior high school, is scheduled for completion early in the spring of 1958. Les Rogers Pensalkin Industrial Park with Pepsi-Cola's new plant. This is one of many fine new industries, along with Shavitz Engineering, Apex Trucking, Lind Manufacturing Company, and a host of others that have built here. The Merchandise Mart at Route 130 and Haddonfield Road is the largest shopping center under one roof in the east. Several hundred merchants with a variety of merchandise to offer make this mart a shopper's paradise. A careful balance of homes and fine industry such as this United States steel barrel plant, in addition to sound government, are the contributing factors to our low tax rate, the lowest of 37 municipalities in Camden County. The Ben Corson aluminum extrusion plant is located on River Road. Wheatland Tube Company is a well-established industry in Delaire.
Scrap Rock Industries are suppliers of ready mix cement and concrete materials. If it's sand and gravel that you need in any quantity, small or large, Russell Ward is the man to see. Union Paving Company, Asphalt Producers, is another substantial industry along the riverfront. Greater Valley Terminal 17 storage tanks with a staggering 50 million gallon total fuel oil storage capacity is a beautiful sight to behold. Precision Steel is another highly regarded firm located on River Road. Rundle Corporation is one of Penn Salkin's oldest industries. They are manufacturers of all types of bathroom fixtures. This is another fine fuel oil corporation. Keycaffer Container Corporation, who recently merged with Weyerhaeuser Corporation, are shown here, and Cooper Chevrolet, an old friend to all of us in Pennsauken. Bell Supply, suppliers of building materials, and Super Tires Attractive Building. These are some of Pennsauken's distinguished industries. organizations in our town do much to contribute to community welfare. They are the American Legion Post number 461, American Legion Post 125, shown here, and the American Legion Post number 345, the VFW Post 2826, and the Gross Hollingshead VFW Post, shown here. Yes, our service clubs, such as the Lions Clubs, also contribute immeasurably to the community. Here they are taking a group of youngsters to the ball game. Public spirited, you bet. And the same is true of the Rotary and the Kiwanis Club, all of whom work hand in hand with township officials on many worthwhile projects. This is team play at its best. Pensalkin Merchants Association, representing businesses along Westfield Avenue, including the branch office of the First Camden National Bank and Trust Company, is also very active in community affairs. Yes, our town is progressive. Whether it be something for the betterment of the youth of the community, or consideration as to the type of homes and planning needed, or whether it be the vacant lands and how they are to be developed, our officials are interested.